Hi, welcome to the Sector Teach tutorial on creating a new program. We'll also cover uh, a little bit on the visibility settings and also the restrictions of the program. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is we'll log in and we'll minimize the SIP over here to give ourselves a bit more working space and I'll just uh, go to my timetable. So you, having a look at my timetable you can see here my home group uh, in purple here and let's just compare that to the uh, the yellow unit 2 biology here. We can see there's a few icons missing that uh, are not present here that are there so the daily work pad and the uh, marks book. If those icons are missing that's a an indicator that this particular um, class does not have a program attached to it. You can also see for Year 8 Science there's no program attached, but there is for uh, the Foundation Biology and also Unit um, 4 Biology. So what we'll do is we'll uh, click anywhere on these classes without a program, and we will select New Program. So the new program has just been created. Um, it'll take you straight to the cover page and from the cover page we can uh, name the program, we can add a file if we like, we can edit some of the visibility settings and we'll also look at the restrictions over here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll name our program. Now this is uh, 11 Home Group and it's important to put the year at the end and also the semester that you're working with. That'll just help identify the program more specifically than just putting your 11 home group. Um, we can change the owner here and we'll keep that as me um, for the time being. Uh, we'll jazz it up a little bit by adding a file. So we'll click add file and just go to my uh, desktop. I've got a file here already preloaded. Here we go. So here's a nice little um, picture saying home group. Now the next thing is we'll look at the visibility settings. So there's certain things that we can do in this program that we don't want the um, students or parents to see. And the first one here is lesson outlines. Now we want to keep that unticked because the outlines, the daily work pad, um, all that space is, is teacher workspace and we don't want that visible to students and parents. We do however want to tick all resources uh, because any resources we attach to our lessons we want students and parents to be able to see those. And the next one here is looking at um, what lessons uh, do you want uh, students to see. Um, now we can restrict it just to seeing the cover page or we can um, allow them to see all lessons um, or just the lessons up and up to the current date. So that will stop students from seeing ahead uh, within your course. So um, we'll just leave it set on that one for now. So that's the visibility settings and the last section is looking at the restrictions. So these are the restrictions for the actual program. Now, um, if I'm the um, if I'm going to be sharing this program, then obviously I want to allow shared teachers to make changes. Um, but if I'm the only one uh, editing this program, um, then I can click the only the owner can make changes. But if it is a shared program, you might want to select the shared teachers can also make changes. So probably by default this is what you want to have selected. Now with the marks book, um, same kind of things. Do you want all teachers to edit the marks? Just the shared teachers or only the teacher in charge of that class? And I think by default this is the one you uh, probably want unless you want your uh, co-teachers of a shared subject to also be able to edit then you might want to tick this one. Um, and the unit planner, uh, once again, three levels of access. Um, and you probably want to allow all users um, who are sharing the program to um, have access to the and editing the unit planner. So by default, I'm going to have these three uh, selected. Press save. And the program is now done. So if I head back to my timetable, 
you will now see that I have the uh, the two icons. I now have a, uh, a daily workpad space and I have the marks book icon and that's an indicator that we now have a program attached to this class. And, and just to check on that too, um, we'll head to list of programs and I'll scroll down, I've got a lot of unused programs here. And right down the bottom here, here we can see Year 11 Home Group 2016 Semester 2 and currently is it is attached to um, 11 Home Group uh, 1113. So that is the instructions on um, creating a new program.